Welcome back, Degenerates, to Place Your Bets. I'm Tyler James. He's the one and only Eric Hansen. We cover Notre Dame football, recruiting, and more for InsideNDSports.com on the Rivals Network. And we like to make prop bets about Notre Dame football. Our season-long competition on the Insider Lounge rewards the first-place subscriber with a free 12-month extension of their subscription. And second place gets six free months. There's a thread to submit your picks listed in the video description below. Last week for the Miami Ohio game, we had four subscribers nail all five prop bets. So congrats to 2581, Rock Me 93, ND Rocket 21, and ND 5019888. And the last person, uh, that was their first time submitting picks this season. So coming out hot. Um, Eric, you weren't weren't far behind them with, with four correct answers of your own. I only hit three of them. Do you think this week will be as critical to our final standings as this game will be for Notre Dame season? No, I think I'm cooked already, and I think Notre Dame has a chance to not be cooked. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we have a two-way top of the standings with JBM 19 and Parvin 70, both having 15 correct pop, prop bets through four games. Eric uh, has 12. I have 10. And then let's see if we can do better with our prop bets for Notre Dame's home game with Louisville. First one I have for us, Eric, is over under 13 and a half offensive touches for Notre Dame running back Jeremiah Love. Oh, you clever minx. Uh, <laughs> Jeremiah averages 13 touches a game, but I do think this is a game that lends itself to him being used more in the passing game. So I'm going to go over with that total. I also think he's going to get more rushing opportunities. Yeah, I'm going over as well. In addition to the average, he's only had one game of over over 13 this season, and that was the AM game when he only had 15, which – to me, I feel like that number needs to get higher. Um, and especially in a game like this, you have to find ways to get Jeremiah Love the ball. So I'm taking the over. All right, next one. Will Notre Dame lose a turnover? I'm going to say yes. I can't tell you how. And I don't think they'll have five like they did last year. But I do Come think on, you're they supposed will to be lose. clairvoyant. Tell me everything. They will lose a turnover. Okay, it'll be. <laughs> A fumble of some sort. How's that? It won't okay. be an interception. All right. Uh, I'm going to go no. Notre Dame has been up and down this season with turnovers, um, with none in two games, and the other two games they had two. Um, those those games, those turnovers came in the uh, NIU game and the Miami game. So maybe <laughs> Notre Dame's not playing a MAC team. They won't turn the ball over. Um, I, I think Notre Dame's going to be locked in and maybe extra conservative at times. So I'm going to say no. All right, next one. Over under 160.5 passing yards for Notre Dame quarterback Riley Leonard. Yeah, I thought about this one, and not that I didn't think about the other ones, <laughs> but I thought, again, some of these where I say I thought about it, I kind of went counterintuitive to what I normally would. I think this is a game where Notre Dame has to have – I mean, they, they have to rush the ball well too, but they're going to need some – more than that 160-ish passing yards. I think they need to push it up to around 200. Ryan Leonard had a tough day against Louisville last year playing with both a bad ankle and turf toe. The turf toe ended his season. But he does have a history of playing well against Louisville. In 2021, in a blowout, he came in as the backup quarterback, completed all 13 of his pass attempts for 99 yards, rushed for 70 yards on seven carries, and a 62-22 loss. Uh, so I'm going to say he has it in him to get to that 200-yard level. Yeah, a lot has certainly changed with Louisville since then. Uh, yeah. But but I, I'm going over Even his, from last year. Yeah, yeah, even from There's last year. 31 newcomers. There's 41 newcomers. Uh, Leonard has only hit the over on this number once a season, and, and his high is 163 yards against Northern Illinois. Um, but I, I just think that there's a chance for Notre Dame to hit in the passing game with a couple of big plays um, that can move that number uh, over um, and, and help out Leonard's stat line. So um, I'm, I'm predicting over as well. All right, before we get to the rest of our prop bets, I wanted to take a moment to remind our audience about our partner, Autograph. Not only can you find Inside ND Sports content on the Autograph app, which is free to download on Android and iOS device, devices, but you can also buy stress-free, no-fee tickets to Notre Dame games. 
Download the app using the QR code at the bottom of our screen here on YouTube or by using the link in the video description. And make sure you use referral code INDS so Autograph knows that we sent you. That's a deal with the no fees with the tickets. I like that. Yeah, there was someone reached out on, on Twitter asking a bunch of uh, Notre Dame reporters for uh, any leads on tickets. And I sent him the link and he sent a response today saying thank you because he found some tickets to take his daughter. So um, there's there's proof of it of it working out there. So if you're interested in tickets, whether it's this weekend or future Notre Dame games, you should check it out. All right, next one. Will Notre Dame force a turnover? Okay, it says, will Notre Dame lose a turnover? So oh, sorry. I'll, yep, I'll, 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 I'll fix that. Thanks for mentioning I that. thought you were tricking me there, <laughs> trying to trick me into the wrong answer. So I'm going to say, will they force a turnover? Yes. Now, there's only three teams in the FBS that have not committed a turnover. Louisville's one of them. Indiana and Georgia are the others. But I don't think... Louisville has faced a defense yet, although Georgia Tech is decent, but Notre Dame is much better than Georgia Tech defensively. I think Notre Dame gets it done with forcing a turnover or more. Yeah, I have confidence in in this defense forcing the issue and making plays, so I'm predicting yes. They've, they being Notre Dame's defense, forced turnovers against A&M, Purdue, and Miami. All of them, which uh, have been interceptions, maybe – Maybe this Louisville game will be the first time Notre Dame gets a fumble recovery. Uh, there certainly have been some opportunities that haven't gone Notre Dame's way on that end. But with the secondary, I think Louisville's going to have to lean on its quarterback to to try to have success, and that also could lead to uh, some turnovers in, in the passing game, even though it hasn't happened this this year uh, for Tyler Shuck. But I, I think it, this might be uh, the time for him to get his first interception of the season. And speaking of Tyler Shuck, over under 58 completion percentage for Louisville quarterback Tyler Shuck. Okay, I'm going to say, you know, I went back and looked at his six-year log of being a quarterback, and he's been over that 58% a lot in his career and all three of the games so far this career, this year. Um, Notre Dame has not allowed a quarterback to even – breached the 50% mark this year. Uh, so I think Tyler Shuck is going to get it done and be over that, but I don't think – I think he's going to have an intercept, his first interception in a Louisville uniform. I also think those aren't going to be deep completions. So I think maybe just a hair over that, but it's going to be a lot of shorter passes. I don't think they're going to be able to um, dent – Notre Dame's pass efficiency defense that's sixth in the country. Yeah, I'm going to go under. I just think that this defense plays so well in the secondary that I think it's going to be hard uh, to complete at a high rate. Um, I do believe Ethan Hampton of Northern Illinois passed the 50% mark. He, I think he was 10 of 19. Um, well, I meant – I am I should say that as a team, they were 10 of 20. They were at 50. Okay. So they had another pass thrown in that game. Um, so I, I just don't, so I just think that this, the secondary is the strength of this team. I think the defensive line should be able to get some pressure as well. Um, and, uh, that's what I think Notre Dame can lean on trying to pe- stop the passing game and then, and almost sort of make Louisville run the ball if they really want to have success. But I, I just don't think that's, that that's going to be a winning formula for Louisville. So I'm going, I'm going under. All right, for fun, will Notre Dame's offense get booed in this game? I have a very uh, scientific reason for saying that they will, uh, and that is Louisville has gone 21 straight games without without its opponent scoring on its first possession, and 15 of their last eight, they haven't even scored in the first quarter. So if Notre Dame gets off to a slow start offensively, I do think there will be boos. So. I don't know how for fun that is for Notre Dame, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I am predicting a yes. Yeah, I only say for fun just so people know that we're not we're not actually keeping track of these for our prop bets. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it certainly would not be fun for Notre Dame fans to be booing. Um, but, yeah, I think, it, I think it will happen, too. I think this – the fan base has certainly grown, in, grown impatient with the offense, um, when it, especially when it has slow starts. And, like you mentioned, Louisville is good at forcing you into slow starts. So 
Um, I, I think there's a chance that happens, so I'll, I'll predict yes as well. All right, what's what's your final score prediction for Notre Dame Louisville? I came up with a really weird one. I have uh, Notre Dame winning twenty seven to twenty two, so I have Louisville kicking five field goals in their <laughs> in their compilation of twenty two points. Oh, do, and, and will will Louisville miss any field goals? Or they're they're making all five of those field goals. They're making all five of those field goals. <laughs> so. All right, I'm I'm predicting Notre Dame 24, Louisville 20. Um, I don't think it's going to be an easy win for Notre Dame. I think it's going to be a bit of a struggle and might maybe not be as offensively appealing as some Notre Dame fans will be demanding. But I do think Notre Dame will be able to um, play good defense against this Louisville team, um, and the offense will be able to do just enough to 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 win um, by a narrow margin. So Notre Dame 24, Louisville zero. All right. Well, that is it for place your best. Wait, wait, place, wait. Go ahead. Twenty four zero. You're picking. Oh man, I. You, you know what? I got. I was getting so far ahead of myself. I messed up the ending, which I messed up last week. That I messed up my score. I twenty four to twenty is my is my is my little Notre Dame Louisville score. Okay, I thought I I thought is he being sarcastic with it'll be close. They'll edge them twenty four to nothing. <laughs> that sounds like a. A bear super fan pick. Oh, they, it'll, it'll be close. They'll beat them by 24. 24 um, to negative two. <laughs> Weteka. All right. But for real this time, that's it for Place Your Bets. Best of luck with your predictions. Enjoy another Saturday, not Sunday, of college football. And we'll talk to you after the game.